Hey guys, it's Ray. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over basic internet marketing 101. This is actually a companion uh, video to an article I wrote online that went over uh, the different types of ways from a basic standpoint that you can become successful on the internet with some marketing. And we went over domain names and how a domain name should have keywords in the domain name and how this is getting tougher and tougher because a lot of internet marketers especially affiliate marketers which I happen to be one of them uh, we look for domain names that have good keywords in them and you'll see that all day long if you do a search for any kind of product or service out there typically in the top 10 you'll see that same name of whatever you're searching for in the domain name so it's kind of this is kind of a, becoming a more and more critical step but it's also becoming harder and harder to get a good domain name that isn't like six or seven words long or isn't a dot info dot net dot cc dot co whatever you really want to try to get dot com if you can and it's not that I know that from any scientific standpoint I just know that from a common sense standpoint is that whenever you do a search look at the domain extensions you seldom see in the top ten a dot net or a dot info dot biz dot whatever you always usually see the dot com and the next thing we talked about in the article was hosting and what hosting actually is is the physical location this is more virtual this is just more out there you know in the cloud somewhere it doesn't really have a home it's just floating around but it then it 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 finds a home when you get hosting it becomes kinda like married to this hosting account where this gives it a physical location and this is where you're gonna build your online presence or your web presence and for this demonstration on on this video demonstration we're gonna be talking about putting a blog specifically on HostGator as our hosting provider and there's several reasons why I use HostGator you know they have a cPanel application that is really easy to use cPanel stands for control panel and it might sound like it's a common terminology but what I've found is that when people talk about cPanel they talk about a very similar interface that we're gonna go over next let me show you what that looks like so in this example what we're gonna have is a domain name which I already have here we're gonna take this one called email plus 2000 which is a domain name of mine in which you can see right now if you go to it it's just a parked GoDaddy account it doesn't exist other than by pointing to GoDaddy as a park domain so I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna change that into a blog right before your eyes in order to do that I have to have a, a hosting with cPanel access so I'm gonna log into my HostGator account and I'm gonna show you how that's done so as soon as we log in this is cPanel control panel right there they all look very much the same a few hosting providers have it GoDaddy does not have it that's why I recommend HostGator uh, there is a way that you can get a blog on GoDaddy but in my opinion this is the way to go because GoDaddy doesn't it's a long story they just there are certain things that they don't do that I wish that they did do and that uh, HostGator does allow us to do from a marketing standpoint in either case you're gonna go down here and you're gonna go to uh, find your name server and your name server is just your physical location of your hosting provider in my case it's NS2163 and NS2164 so I'm gonna just copy that right now and I'm gonna put that in to my GoDaddy domain management system and I'm gonna say for this email address or I'm sorry for this domain address of email plus 2000 I wanna change the name servers and I'm gonna change them away from GoDaddy so it's no longer a parked location to a specific location on HostGator that I am renting space from this hosting account and I'm gonna change it to the NS2163 and the NS2164 now I didn't copy the other one because I just know and you'll get to experience this too they're usually just one number apart so you have to have at least two name servers some hosting providers do have three or four but the lion's share of them only have two I hit OK and you're gonna see it's gonna tell me it's about a two hour wait I've never seen it take that long to be honest with you usually it's about a 10 to 15 minute process before I could have this blog up and running sometimes you have to wait longer 
and that's just to get the blog interface in that's not to completely have the finished product just so you, you you're aware of that it's going to take probably about a good 30 minutes 40 minutes from start to finish to have a blog up and running with all the plugins and all, and that kind of stuff that you're going to want on the blog so as I'm waiting for that I'm going to pause this video and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you uh, how it's done as as it is right now we've been five minutes into this I'm going to get a stopwatch going so I know when I come back I'll tell you how long it's been so stand by and uh, be right back okay we're back uh, I don't know if it's actually been uh, sent over yet to HostGator it's only been six minutes I literally started this stop clock as soon as I hit pause but I'm gonna go ahead and just see sometimes you can get lucky with these kind of things and it'll be quicker so all you need to do let me back up one so you can see what I just did I went into my HostGator C panel and I clicked on the bottom here where it says uh, add on domains because that's what I'm doing I'm adding a domain to my hosting account and in here I'm gonna type in the email email I mean the domain name email plus 2000.com okay so it, it has been recognized which is good uh, in here I put my password make sure you choose a pretty strong password you don't want to get hacked hit add domain and I should get a green confirmation that it's been added let's see what happens here hopefully it wasn't hopefully it, it's gonna go through for this video yes okay great so it's been added so basically all that has happened now is that I took a virtual domain name and gave it a physical address on a hosting account through HostGator so let me go back to my hosting account and show you how you create a blog out of that now you're going to go into the hosting account and you're going to go down to the bottom to an application called Fantastico Deluxe. Click on that. Fantastico serves as like the gateway to all these different types of applications that you can put on your account. So I'm going to choose a WordPress blog. And I'm going to say that this is a going to be a new installation and I'm gonna give it the domain name of email plus 2000 make sure you select the one that stands alone you saw this other one email plus 2000 dot raybryant.com this would be a subdomain I don't want that I want it to be its own unique and I want it to install it in its own directory so, so when people go to email plus 2000 they see my blog they don't see something else that says to go to my blog click here type deal so this is I keep this blank there are applications where you want to give it a directory but that's more of an advanced uh, course and we're not going to go over that right now so let me hit pause so I can change in and put some sensitive data in here and when you come back when I resume the video you should see that it says uh, has been finalized so stand by okay so I just put my my information in there and I'm gonna hit finish installation and it's been done so everything's been installed now all I need to do to check this is to see if email plus 2000 when I go to this site again if it goes to this same kind of park drop or parked domain or if it goes to an actual generic blog template so let's take a look at that now and now I have a WordPress blog all ready to go now this is a very generic this is the one that WordPress puts out there but now that it's being hosted I have complete access over it all WordPress blogs have the WP dash login to get into it this is what I grayed out before because if had you seen that or anybody has seen that you want to guard that information because you don't want somebody to be able to manage your um, your blog on your behalf uh, unintentionally that is so that's all there is to it in more advanced discussions we're going to talk about the recommended plugins you should have uh, the type of themes that work how to put social media icons on your page and probably what I'll do with this email plus 2000 I'll probably turn it into like an email marketing hub 
so people can get information on it so by the time you even see this video it's probably going to look different I'm going to spend some time on it now and, and show you how um, and then that way when you go to the site in case anybody's curious to see what I did with it you can see what you can do and um, how how it looks on your end so thanks for taking the time to view this video my complete article about this will be found at my raybryant.com that's my official blog where you can learn more about me and see what I'm up to and if you wanted to use any of the resources that I just demonstrated I would greatly appreciate it if you were to choose to use uh, the links that I have here for HostGator and if you want to get into internet marketing and keyword research my market samurai link as well and um, that's about it so learn more about me here and this is more advanced stuff this profit jackpot only wire is a way to syndicate your um, your information across a whole bunch of different platforms these are some programs I'm into this is all about me so learn more about me by going to the site and thanks again for your time have a great day guys